Welcome back to Old School Sports and our OOTP 22 playthrough of the Miami Marlins. Uh, you can see that we're through the 2027 season now and we finished with uh, the second highest winning percentage we've had during our uh, tenure as general manager of the team. So finally got over 500, which had been our quest for a few seasons. And more importantly, we did it while using a lot of the young players that we've acquired uh, through trades and the draft over the past uh, several seasons. So uh, finally really started to put our stamp on the team and uh, really got some great results out of the young players that we we brought up. Um, thinking about our batting, um, Zingi Sabatini, Sabatino, sorry, uh, young second baseman for us, a uh, very good fielder, and he also had a really nice offensive season uh, with a 115 OPS plus, 277 batting average. Uh, 14 homers, 49 ribbies, 26 doubles, scored 80 runs. Uh, I think it's it's pretty likely that he will probably be the National League Rookie of the Year. He won uh, National League Rookie of the Month twice during the season. So uh, Zingy Sabatino is someone that we're going to be really happy to build this team around for the next several years, uh, given that he's on a, a very modest contract, and he led our team with a 4.6 war. Uh, Mike Brousseau was our one of our big acquisitions in last offseason, and the 33-year-old had a really, really nice season for us with 31 homers, a slugging percentage over 500, and a 3.9 war. Jet Williams was another rookie for us. Uh, this is a guy that we picked in the first round of the draft uh, just about two and a half years ago. And uh, he had a really nice season for us as shortstop. Um, not an incredible offensive player, 97 OPS plus, but uh, solid uh, 13 homers, 56 runs batted in. And uh, you can see he had a, uh, had a decent uh, season defensively for us at shortstop. He is certainly not Ozzie Smith, but he is a solid defensive shortstop with a uh, decent bat that hopefully will get a little bit better in the coming years. So it was uh, really good to have uh, both Sabatino and Jet Williams do well for us. Michael Lorenzen, who was a, a free agent acquisition from us uh, two seasons ago, missed all of 2026 with an injury, but came back and had a nice season for us. And uh, we signed him to an extension uh, during the season, so he will be back in the outfield for us. And then Jesus Galiz, who was our Rule 5 draft uh, acquisition, uh, number 95 prospect in the game still. Um, I am still struggling to understand why his previous team uh, left him available in the Rule 5 draft, uh, but happy that they did because he is a above-average defensive uh, catcher who has got... Uh, Pretty good potential as far as his uh, batting skills. Had a uh, mixed year for us. 227 average and 301 OBP. Certainly not great. 79 OPS plus. Um, not going to jump off the page. But, uh, you know, a solid defensive uh, catcher who is only 23 years old that we're really going to be building around for the next uh, next several seasons in Miami. Um so, so really happy with the offense overall. Um, looking at our pitching staff, uh, a lot of nice things happened with some of the, the younger players on the, the pitching staff also. Um, Dante Cuba, who's our young closer, uh, you can see he's just got electric stuff and incredible movement. He was a second round draft pick uh, two and a half years ago also. And uh, he followed up his, uh, his rookie season with a even stronger season for us. 34 saves, 171 ERA plus, which is even a little more than the incredible number he put up in 2026. And his fit minus actually improved from 56 to 54. So uh, a really talented young pitcher that we're, we're happy to have on the team who put up a, a 2.8 war for us uh, while closing. Uh, Greg Wallace is another one of the young players on our team, 24-year-old, first-round draft pick for us from 2024. 
Um, and, and he pitched 37 games total, uh, 29 as a starter for us. Uh, ERA plus only 90 and FIP minus 101, but uh, we expect big things from him going forward. So another uh, young player that uh, is on our team that we're uh, really excited to build around. Um, so thinking about building around those younger players, um, the one thing that I uh, do need to note is that uh, we had um, you know, review of our season goals with Bruce Sherman, and he expected a little more from us, but 84.78 is uh, above the 500 level that he wanted us to be at. Um, we improved to 10th in batting average, and, you know, we were increasing our, our uh, attendance, so we made some progress. Um, he was a little disappointed that loyalty dropped, um, but Still, our budget went up uh, about two million dollars from 114 million to 116 million, and then he dropped the hammer on me and let me know that after uh, improving our record for a second consecutive season and getting back over 500, I am not welcome to come back, and they are going into a different direction. So this is unfortunately the end of our run with the Marlins. Um, I do have some exciting opportunities in front of me uh, based off of the improved performance that we saw. Uh, the Diamondback, Cubs, Reds, A's, and Giants are all looking for general managers and are interested in bringing me on board. So we will see what the future holds, but it will not be with the Miami Marlins, unfortunately. And uh, after they, uh, or as they uh, let me go, you can see here that uh, they, they decimated a lot of the uh, coaching staff and even uh, some of the, the minor leagues also, although I had re-signed most people. But uh, all of the uh, bench pitching, hitting, and third base coach apparently were fired with me. Um, so it is what it is. It's been fun, and I appreciate everyone watching. Uh, we will be back with OOTP at some point, um, maybe waiting until OOTP 23, which is probably uh, just a few months away. But it's also possible that we decide to do something in the, the not-so-distant future with OOTP 22, just because we won't be patient enough to wait those couple months. So appreciate uh everybody's time appreciate you watching and next time hopefully we will be a little more successful have a great day